Hello everybody and welcome back to Dirt Road Nation. I'm Zach. I'm Jake. We are the Dirt Road Men. That was solid, Clyde. I felt that in my fingers. Which is impressive if you know me because I can't really feel my fingers at all. You're not going to have to hear it. Right. I won't. Uh, anyway. Yes, I am, because I'm probably going to need to do this. Uh, we're here today to do a budget cigar review of Optimo Cognac. Limited edition. Nice, though. There's a non-limited edition Cognac. Hey, buddy, don't, don't headbutt your cage. Anyway. Uh, so, Optimo is owned by Swisher Sweets. They're, you know... Like, probably the biggest cigar company out there, technically speaking. Who Even though Swisher? they don't make previous cigars. Uh, Swisher owns oh. Drew Estate. Oh, okay. Damn, <laughs> that was the opposite. Yeah. Swisher Sweets bought Drew Estate. Oh, my bad. I could be wrong, but I'm I, like 95.6259% certain. That that is correct. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I don't know how limited edition these are. But I will say that, to me, I don't notice cognac as much as a general honeyed flavor. <laughs> I, I've never had cognac, so I don't know what cognac is. You've never had any? No. How have you never had Hennessy? You've been drinking for at least like six years more than me. Yeah. <laughs> I've never had Hennessy. We're the same age, by the way. <laughs> I've been drinking for more than a decade. Yes, you have, but so have I in that regard. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no, I've just never had Hennessy. All right. Well, um, cognac. cognac is sweet, generally, but but it <clears throat> this doesn't make me think of cognac as much as it just makes me think of a cigar with with honey flavoring. However, it it reminds me of the taste of like a legit cigar with some honey flavoring instead of you know a cheapo gas station cigar which some of these are bitter and just don't taste very good. We've definitely had those before. Uh, I don't know. I got these because A, we needed to get ahead on cigar reviews and <clears throat> all of our most viewed cigar reviews are budget cigars for some reason, so here we are. Apparently um, this is what you like from us. I really like these. I would like to almost A, B, compare these to the Backwood Stouts because I honestly would not mind having these around. Yeah, like these are... And it was a buck for this. Shit. Uh, yeah, th these would be like a nice, uh... Just like you don't want to smoke, you know, spend an hour and a half or, you know, an hour smoking a whole cigar, but you want something. <laughs> yeah, these are a uh, solid stand-in. Um, when we rate these, are we going to rate them on the same scale as we do normal uh, premium cigars, or do these have their own scale? We have historically always rated them on the same scale. Okay. Which meant getting more than a five was a feat. Because okay. that's, a five is where I was at with Grenadiers. It's like, I can take a Grenadier, leave a Grenadier, it is, I don't feel any kind of way about it, except I have a personal connection to those. Um, I do not remember. I would put these on about the same, uh, as the, uh, Isla Del Sol's. Wow. I really like I am those. frustrated with the fact that this has gone out on me twice. Mm. But genuinely, like, honestly, I'm at about a seven with this. We're not going to do the back half on these. These don't really <laughs> tend to change that much. They're wicked cheap. Uh, but 
we do try to, you know, give you our thoughts after we've smoked a little ways in. Um, I'm at an eight. I was gonna try to come down, but I am I am genuinely enjoying this. Yeah, it's it's kind of weird, ain't it? <laughs> it is. Like I, I could just smoke these. I know I know the market that these are typically or the people who typically buy these things don't just smoke them. But they yeah they use them to roll joints. I mean I guess if I was into that this would probably be the only one I was buying too because <laughs> that is my 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 bummer for these is that they're limited edition so I'm probably gonna go out and like buy like a whole box and just <laughs> stick it in my humidor for the days <laughs> that I want something to smoke but I don't want to sit through a whole cigar. Hmm. I, uh, yeah, I'm very pleased with these. I also, uh, just kind of on that last puff noticed a hint of, like, uh, uh, an almost bread note, which is interesting to get off of a cigar, but, like, honeyed, honeyed bread with your normal earthy tobacco-ness to it, right? Mm. Is just really good. The only other cigar I could compare this to that's a budget cigar that we've bought is the Backwood Stout. I'd have to compare them to see which one I like more. And it's been a long time since I've had the Backwood Stout, so I don't want to say for sure, but I think I like this one more than that. I'm in the <clears throat> same spot as you with that. Like it's been since our I think since our review since I've had the backwoods stout. Mm-hmm. Same. So. Well, uh, I know this is kind of a shorter budget video, video. <laughs> but with uh, budget cigars, you just gotta take it a little easier. Um. There's really not as much to say with budget cigars. I know that like we could get into the specifics of where they come from and all that, but. Budget cigars like these use uh, much more tri like what most people think of when they think of the tobacco industry. That's the kind of tobacco you're getting in these. These ones are do say natural leaf, and looking yeah, they don't at the have a paper wrapper, they have a legit. Yeah, looking at looking at it, it it is uh, an actual leaf. Maybe that's part of it, because most of the flavor of a cigar comes from the wrapper. Yeah. So maybe they did, you know, use actual leaves instead of, like, the pulp of leaves to make this cigar. But, um, generally the filler tobacco on these is, like, the same type of filler tobacco you get in cigarettes. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's kind of the downside of these. They don't go into the premium cigar range but i genuinely if you're into these kind of cigars or you're a cigar smoker but you don't have the money to buy premium cigars all the time put these in your rotation get a box of these get a hold of them man a box yeah. of them contains 30 so it's going to cost you like 30 bucks for 60 of these yeah that's <laughs> yeah if you're only smoking you know one or two a day then that would be shit <laughs> that would be worth definitely worth it yeah so i don't really have anything else for you guys but i hope you enjoyed this review if you want to see more of these since these seem to be our most popular comment on the video and let us know that like the video interaction with our videos gets us more views and what gets us more views is what we're going to start doing more of so by all means if you like this let us know please till we see you again i'm zach i'm jake and we are the dirt road men Hey everybody, if you like this video, uh, hit a like or dislike, comment, uh, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And if you really like what we're doing, uh, check us out over on Facebook where we post every day.